Good morning, chickadees. Well, good afternoon, because it'll be later in the day when I post this, but I've got a new video and a big mess. <laughs> so, <clears throat> this was the surprise for me <laughs> that I was super excited about. And normally, I don't, um, <clears throat> like, buy into hype that other people have about things. But I saw a video on this thing, and I was like, I want it. I want it real bad. So I went and got it. Um, it is the orange color, and it's the Delphonics pouch, the uh, utility pouch in a medium. So, and this thing, it was a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be, <laughs> but that's fine. Um, I watched the videos on it, and I guess I just couldn't, like understand the size compared to what I got or compared to what it was going to be in real life but that's okay because I will totally totally use this and I'm so excited like I freaking love it and I got orange orange is my favorite color and um I wanted the yellow one not gonna lie but everyone had the yellow like everyone <laughs> so I just went with a um, different color just to spice things up I guess and so I don't know if you haven't seen one before uh, it's just kind of like all the hype right now it's a just a really nice really cool pouch but it's got 15 pockets and so these three hold pins and things there's got two on the front here and then two back here and they're, they're really nice, like, spacious pockets. And then on the back, it has one over here, a longer one here, and then this one, which is velcro so you can shove things in there. <clears throat> and then on the inside, over here, it's super nice. Hope it's bright enough. It's super rainy here today because the weather's just been all over the place, but um, <clears throat> I think it's good. You should be able to see it. So it's just, on the inside, it's got two pockets on this side, and then the same shape on this side, and then it's got the big middle one. And today I thought we could, or I would show you what I'm about to put in it. Um, because this is so big, I actually splurged a little bit and got... Um, one of the small ones too and it should be here on Tuesday I think and I got that one in it's called khaki but it's it from the picture it looked like a darker brown so I'm hoping it's the darker brown color and not actually khaki <laughs> um but when that comes in I will show it to you guys as well but so my plan um, and my mess here <laughs> that I have uh, is to just kind of show you I'm not gonna fill it up I'm just gonna show you what I think I'm gonna put in it just to keep things a little bit shorter today because my last two videos were 40 minutes a piece and you guys I don't need to do another one that long for a little bit <laughs> um, but my first uh, first thing I'm definitely gonna put in it are my Windsor Newton watercolors my cats are having a hissy in the other <laughs> next to me um i got these for myself for christmas and i can never open the stinking thing it sticks so bad for some reason uh and you can see i've already used them quite a bit and i love them it's it's so much fun um you know this pops out and you can stick it over here and have this also as a mixing tray so, yeah, I got these at AC Moore, and I had a coupon, so I got them, like, 50% off, I think, so it was, like, $16, and they've been great so far, uh, and then I'm going to stick my brush in there with it. You know, what I did, I know a lot of people keep rags or use tissues or uh, toilet paper, or paper towels, I mean, to wipe their brushes off with, but I made, and I have to finish them, I haven't 
sewn in the ends yet, but I made little watercolor dishcloths. So you just, you can fold them up and they're very small, like, you know, it was my goal to make something that was not going to take up a lot of space. And I will have these for sale on Etsy soon. I just got to make a couple um, before I do that. And it'll be in random colors. Uh, but yeah, so you, you know, as you're painting, you just, you wipe your brush off. And then <clears throat> that way you don't have a lot of waste. And you always have it with you. And you can just fold it up, stick it in a pocket, and it's good to go. Um, and I made orange for myself because favorite color <laughs> but yeah so I'm kind of hoping that um, people will like these let me know what you guys think I think it's a cool idea but that's just me being hopeful <laughs> and then a lot of other things that I'm gonna do is my journal I'm gonna kind of do something different this time there's a journaler that I follow on Instagram whose journals I adore. I just, he's amazing at it. He makes his own books and he sells them. And I can't, I don't want to butcher his name. <clears throat> so I'm not even going to attempt to say it. And it's, I, yeah, I'm not even going to try it. <laughs> but, um, so I will link him below because everyone needs to check him out. And it's amazing. But his journaling gives me inspiration and I want to try a journal similar to his um, or at least, um, a style, just as something different to do. So, I got all of these little pouches at the container store. I think they're 99 cents a piece. So I just kind of stuck all my stickers in them. Uh, I may go back and look and see if they have a medium-sized pouch, because they have this one, and then they have, like, it's probably, um, let's see, maybe 8.5 by 11 file folder, that's too big to fit in here. So I want to see if they have one that's in between. But, um, so I just stuck a bunch of, so this, this I think everyone has seen. It's like the, it's the masking sticker paper. And it comes in all of the, like a bunch of different, um, patterns. Sorry, I was <laughs> confused there. Uh, forgot my words. But down at the bottom, I don't know if you can see, it's got circles. And then it has, I think, three or four thick ones that are about this thick. And then at the top, it has two that are thinner. So you can, uh, I get these and use them a lot like washi tape. Just kind of add some decoration to my pages. But I'm going to stick that in there. And then I went on Etsy and bought three or four, um just collections of random stamps that have nothing to do with me or where I've been or where I'm going to be <laughs> but I was just like I kinda wanna add some stamps just to add some art like that's why I got them was for the art because there's just so many like just awesome designs and stuff on stamps and it's just it's really cool to just be able to flip through and look at all of it. So I got those. Um, these I also got on Etsy and they are just more stamp uh, stickers that look like stamps but aren't actually stamps. And then I got some clear um, stickers that have various, I think there's bugs, there's some dragonflies, butterflies, and then there's bigger ones that also, again, look like stamps. And then, in this one, these were ones that I was given when I placed orders with people. They would send me like a little extra packet of bonus stickers. So that's what I have in here. Plus, I have some um, stickers of like a world map that have been cut out. And I think I got those on AliExpress, but I can't remember exactly. But yeah. And then I have these uh, weather stickers. And weather stickers are probably one of my favorite stickers to have. Just because I just, I love, I love weather. Love rain mostly. So today I'm like living because 
Rain is the best. <laughs> but, um, doesn't make for great filming. So it's, you know, a little iffy. But I guess you can see the sun is a little, is sort of coming out. But these I got from, let's see, I don't think the name is actually on here. Um, I'll have to find it. If you want to know, they get, they came in these adorable bags. And this is the same, oh no, this is the same place I got these, these stamps, or these stickers. Um, so if you would like to know, I will look for it, otherwise I'm just kind of, uh, I'm just going to let it, let it go. <laughs> but let me know. I, I will search for anything if you have any questions about where I found stuff, and I will go and look for it. Um, but, yeah. And then I have this tin that I'm going to stick in there just to keep stuff that I don't want getting bent. And that's what these came in. I got these on Amazon. Uh, so these just came in here, but I wanted this tin for something else, so I stuck these in here. So I just have this nice one. I have another one somewhere, but I don't know where it's at right now. And hopefully I will be able to find it. <laughs> because I really, really need it. Um, I have these that I made the other night. I cut up a bunch of paper that I have and made their bookmarks, but I'm also going to use them for washi. And I won't fill up all of them. <laughs> because that would be ridiculous. But I'll probably take two or three with my favorite um, washi. And I have a bunch of washi. So I kind of need to organize it, but I don't use it as much as I want to, which is probably why, I mean, probably why I need to organize it. So, sorry about that, it was kind of blurry for a minute there. <laughs> Um, so I need to go through this and kind of, um, organize and see what I have and I'm going to wrap a bunch around. Like this is going to be, I'm definitely going to be using for, oh, focus, 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 stop it. Maybe. <laughs> this one I'm definitely going to be using because it goes along with the, uh, the, um, theme that I'm going to try and aim for in my in my next journal. So and you know this one kind of too. So um I am up for washi trades. <laughs> if you would like to trade, you know, just kind of let me know how much washi you want or how many different samples you want and I will be happy to trade with you. I'll trade for, you know, other washi samples, stickers, whatever, uh, ephemera. I just like collecting from different people and having different uh, things to put in my journals. So if you are up for trading, just let me know. That'd be great. Um, and I think, oh, before I forget. I went through some magazines that my mom and my dad gave me just because, not that one, that's for me, just because I was uh, trying to figure out some stuff that I could add and just tape in my journals. So I kind of went through and just cut out a bunch of different stuff. Uh, so this is some of the stuff that I found. It's just, you know, pretty pictures with sayings or just sayings. Um, so the, <laughs> this, and I have to share this with you guys. So I'm from North Carolina in the in the states, and uh, there, one of the magazines that I got was a local magazine. So it talks about the um, cities and the places around where I live, and and this was in it, and <laughs> it just made me laugh because at work the people I work with are. Yankees <laughs> or from the north and so we both say a lot of the same things but differently So I found this and it just kind of made me laugh So most of this isn't gonna make sense because it's just references to stuff around here But I just thought it was funny just to see You know Like stuff that I say actually printed out so <laughs> But it made me laugh um, 
and I was gonna stick that in somewhere just because I wanted to remember it but yeah I just thought it was fun having that the southern flair I will I could not tell you how many times I say cut the light off or cut this on or cut this off and my bosses are like no you don't cut it you turn it and I'm like no it's cut <laughs> Sorry, it was like a long, long, like, thing that we go back and forth on, and I just, I need some backup here. Does anybody else say cut? Because it makes complete sense to me if you cut something off or you cut it on because you're cutting the circuit. That's how I think about it, and it always makes sense. <laughs> but I also get turning, but you're in the south. Say cut. <laughs> anyway. Here's uh, some more. These are answers that I don't want to look out. I have the, oh, here it is. So I wanted to do, <laughs> I wanted to fill this out and put it in there uh, in the, in my journal. And Sudoku is one of my favorite things to do. I adore doing Sudoku. So I wanted to do this and then just give this a shot because I can barely, rarely ever do I finish, um, crossword puzzles. I usually get frustrated. But, and I haven't looked at any of these answers yet. So I kept this just in case. <laughs> but I just kind of wanted to give that a shot. Um, and here is a map of North Carolina that I just wanted to add. So this right here is where I live. You can come steal all my shit. <laughs> so I used to go, let's see, where is it? Up here. That's where I went to school, in the mountains. And it was it was great. But yeah, I live in the smack dab in the middle of the state state. Takes three hours to get here, three hour four hours to get here. So <laughs> it's just kind of um it's always been good to live here. Because it you know, it takes about the same amount of time to get anywhere else. Uh just some prettier pictures. Just a random door knocker. This is a picture from the Blue Ridge Parkway. So where I went to school, you could uh, drive up here fairly quickly. And it's just super long parkway that goes like all the way through North Carolina up into Virginia. Um, and it's just, it's so, so pretty, especially in the fall. So we call, there's a weekend, usually in October, it's called Peak Weekend. And it's when everybody that doesn't live in North Carolina <laughs> comes up to the Blue Ridge Parkway and just slows down traffic <laughs> just so they can stare at the leaves. Um, yeah, it's gorgeous, but boy, do you just want to ram into people's cars. <laughs> uh, just some more fall-related stuff. All of these magazines were fairly older, so that's why... Uh, everything's fall. Uh, this is sauerkraut chocolate cake. I just wanted to know that this existed. So if you want the recipe for sauerkraut chocolate cake, here it is. I don't think I'll ever make it because it's got sauerkraut in it. But hey, there you go. Um, more stickers. Not stickers. More cutouts. Table will be a great day. Just kind of liked this cozy picture. Um, are you truly happy inside? Good life. Just the big word, no. <laughs> Just energize. And then chickens. Chickens are one of my favorite animals. I used to have them. I adore them. I love them. I miss having them. The Honestly, the mascot of this channel was going to be a chicken before it was a crow. And I'm kind of glad I went with crow, but look, chickens are amazing. I love them. They're precious. <laughs> um, just another picture I liked. And then I liked the quote. Uh, you don't even know where I'm going. I don't care. I'd like to go anywhere. It just, even though I'm not a huge fan of John Steinbeck, but I like the quote and the picture. Uh, another quote, creativity you can feel, just some stars 
and then just this big picture. I don't know if I can, oh yeah, okay. So it was just a night picture with, um, oops, just a picture of stars. And the cool thing is where I live, if I cut all the lights out of my house and go lay in the backyard, I can see so many stars. It's, it's amazing. I just, I love the country, <laughs> you guys, living, I like the city, being close to everything, but I just, I think I love the, just being in the country and being able to, you know, not have to live near anybody or being able to walk outside and see stars is just, it's amazing. And it's one of my favorite things. <laughs> um, and then I just have my ruler. So it's the, the Carrie Quilting Company. I won this in a door prize. It came with a sleep mask and this ruler and a small gift card to their store, which I gave to my mom because my mom quilts and I've made one quilt and then I'm not doing it again because it took me four years and that's too long. Uh, and then the last but not least, this is my next journal. So it's Premiere, I guess, I'm assuming, Premiere. And I actually found this one, like, right after I finished filming my video, and I was just like, nope, not refilming. <laughs> so this is going to be my next blank journal that hopefully, and it's a sketchbook, so it's got nicer paper, or not nicer, but more suited for watercolors and um, heavier inks and stuff. So I'm hoping this is going to turn into a really nice project. <laughs> and then this thing I'm going to add in there eventually. But this is for a personal project. I'm trying to write a book. And I figured what better way to write a book than to kind of oh, add some flair to a journal that I have and it's blank. Uh, and then just write, you know, every day, write something in it about what I want the book to be about. Or what, not what I want it to be about, but, uh, you know, actually write excerpts from the book until I get a cohesive story. But I'm trying to go through, before I do that, and write, or watercolor on every page. And it's just taking a while because there's quite a few pages in here. But... Yeah, so that's the page I stopped on, and I still have all these left. Because this, this is not fun to write on. This, this is fun to write on. So I'm hoping that that'll help. And then that's just the front. Um, just take some words, or tape some words down. Um, this came from a company. Oh, what's the company? What's the company? I think it's Holy Mountain. I think, but they are a local t-shirt printing company and they do designs and their mascot, who's called Holy Mountain, is a kaiju and he's freaking awesome looking, but I, they gave me a bunch of free stickers and I finally decided to use one. <laughs> this was my, not my least favorite, but the one I was less worried about putting on something that was going to turn into a thing. And then just this random sticker and then this one and the gas mask boy but and then I just kind of golded up the edges so I'm gonna add that in there just to keep it with me and all of this might change when I get my smaller one because my smaller one will definitely fit in the bag that I carry day to day this one is going to be used mostly when I travel um, or I know specifically I'm going to go out and have an art day where I sit at my local cafe and just art for you know a couple hours um, because otherwise this is quite large and I don't want to carry it around every day so these things will probably be going in and out of both of those and then here's my current journal that I'm so close to being done with I would have been done with this much earlier but I had a really bad week this week um, some personal stuff went down and I just didn't feel like writing so uh, it's a little bit behind but I can show you know you've I think I showed you the first couple pages um, and then this the staple 
because it because it got wet so it kind of just came out so just a bunch of writing and I think this is um, maybe where it was so before and after I got my hair cut like I chopped it all off and I was gonna put I haven't put them in there yet but when I do I will show you guys um, uh, the before pick and then the after pick I will stick those in there and then just more writing lots of writing so much writing you guys this is what I want to change I want to write a lot but in my next journal which is why I got a blank one I want to do a lot more art uh, a lot more of this so hoping that works um, I bought a plaid jacket that I adore I love it so much and this was just the tag from it it's a skateboard company and I didn't know that when I bought it but I love it and the bad thing is though that it's a men's jacket and I guess the size I got fits me everywhere except on my hips which pisses me off because hips <laughs> um, out of the star taking up space that was my lunch one day my Delphonic the tag for my pouch super happy about it I got an echo dot the same day that I ordered the pouch because I had wanted one for a while and I finally realized that you could do um, monthly payments so I think it's like six dollars a month and I can use my echo and it's just the user like the quick setup manual um, but it's been it's been what like two days two three days and I freaking I love it I do not regret getting it at all <laughs> um, there's the pin this is the pin that I always use Let's see let me see if I can focus it focus 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 nope it's not gonna focus <laughs> guys I'm trying no oh there it goes paper mate flare just had to, you know, this is the pen that I always use for everything. But I think in this journal, I'm going to go with something thinner because I want it to look more, I want it to look neater than this. So this is kind of messy, which normally I don't care because it's my journal and I want to do what makes me happy. But I kind of want to go for a look, so I'm going to give it a shot. And then this was just some books that I want to check out. I haven't read The Da Vinci Code yet, and I know it's been forever. But some books I wanted to look out, look for. Uh, and I was going to write uh, last night. And, or not last night. Yeah. Was last night the 20th? I don't know. I was going to write the 19th. And then I just I didn't. So I'll probably mark that out or just draw a line under it and write down here. And then my goal is to finish this today so I can get out of this book but yeah it, it, you, I, I loved it for what it was here and this is already 30 minutes and I was supposed to go shorter but you just you get me talking and I don't shut up but <laughs> yeah so let me know uh, what do you guys think about the Delphonics pouch um, I know a lot of people have it I wanted it because it was gorgeous and it's really cool um, if you guys have any pouches that you keep feel free to share like what's in them because I love seeing that stuff uh, if you want to trade washi you want to trade stickers you want to trade anything hit me up uh, you can comment down here or hit me up on my Insta Instagram at secondary crow um, just send me a message there and I've also started a red bubble also at secondary crow there's not much up there now and right now it's mostly just photography um, but the photography is put on, you know, uh, journals and stickers and postcards and that kind of stuff. So if you could give that a look too, that would be great. Uh, and let me know, just let me know what you guys want to see. My next video should be a walkthrough of my very first journal or a flip through. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you Thursday.